My name is Neve Lynch and I'm a dairy advisor in Chagas in Navan. And on this board, we're going to look at feeding the young calf. So the most important thing, I suppose, when you're heading into the calving season is that all your calves will be born with basically no immunity. So the most important thing is to get good quality colostrum into them. So look at when we look at the whole colostrum thing, it's really the three, two, one. It's getting um, three litres of colostrum in the first two hours into the calf in the first feed. So the other important thing is when you're um, getting colostrum out of your cows is to make sure the quality is good. And the one way of measuring that is with a refractometer and making sure that the quality is over 22%. So look at that, that's your first feed and it's the most important thing in the whole calving season and it'll set you upright in terms of um, the calves immunity as they get older and you know, stops them getting sick. Um, the other thing just to take note of is the recommendation is with feeding calves from then on is, is that calves should be fed at 15% of their body weight. So we look, take for example a 40 kilo calf. So it should be getting about six liters per day in two feeds. So as we move on then from when the calf is born, for especially for people that are using um, Rotavec vaccination, you should be on transition milk from day two to day five with two and a half to three liters of, of milk for two, uh, two feeds a day. So then I suppose from then on, from six to 10 days, you can either switch to milk replacer or keep on your whole milk. And, and the same thing, three liters of milk, two feeds a day. Um, again, the same thing from day 11 to 28. Uh, once we pass 28 days, it is suitable to switch to once a day um, feeding on calves with, with milk replacer. Um, but you can also use your whole milk and, and feed it twice a day. So um, just when we look over at the other side of the, um, board here on the graph on the grams of powder per head per, per day I suppose the recommendation really is that um, well you can see at the four litres on the, the far side there you're getting 400 grams of powder in and that's taken maintenance that's giving your calf the maintenance it needs um, and 100 grams for growth so really when we look at it compared to the six litres you're really not getting enough um, grams of powder in for the growth factor of the calf so that's why the recommendation is six litres so it's 400 grams for maintenance and 350 grams for uh, growth and finally just to add in from when your calves are born they should have access to clean water and some sort of calf crunch